Hi, I'm Cal Van Doren, a systems engineer here at AGI, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Operator's Toolbox plugin. Now, for those that don't know, the Operator's Toolbox plugin is a workflow enhancement plugin written by one of our engineers here that's aimed at uh, optimizing the, the workflows that a lot of operators go through on a day-to-day -day basis, optimizing those for time. It's not always adding functionality, rather so it's, it's going to be optimizing all of those traditional workflows that you might be going through um, that are associated with the facilities that you might normally work with, the satellites you might normally work with, and how all those objects interact. So the first step to using this plugin is, of course, to install it. What I have done here is I've gone to agi.com, and I went and just went up to the icon, uh, the search icon, and searched for operators toolbox. And this is where you're going to get the installation package for the operators toolbox. The second article down here is operators toolbox plugin. And here you'll find a nice description of all of the different tools that exist currently within the toolbox. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom of this article, you'll see two different files. And these are going to be the install files for SDK 12 or SDK 11.7.1, depending on which version of our software you're running. So go ahead and just download the corresponding zip file for your software. And from that point, once it's in your downloads, we can proceed with installing it. OK, so my install has downloaded. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decide where I want to install my Operators Toolbox plugin. You have two options. The first thing you can do is install it in your program data if you have administrator privileges on your machine. And if you don't have administrator privileges, what you can do is you can install it in your user directory, which is normally users, SDK 12, and then it'll be in config and plugins. I'll show you both of those methods now. The first one I'll show you is uh, installing in program data. So if you take your zip file that you've recently downloaded and copy it over into your C drive, program data, AGI, SDK 12, or whatever version you might have, plugins, you paste your zip file, and you can go ahead and right click on it and extract all. When you extract, what you should see, once that completes, is a folder called Operators Toolbox uh, with the version number, so in my case, Operators Toolbox v1.3, and then also an XML file corresponding to Operators Toolbox. So the XML file is going to be pointing to the DLLs that are used uh, that actually house the code for the plugin, and so both of those components are very important. You can go ahead and get rid of your zip file once you've extracted it there. And two things that I'll see immediately here. Um, I have the Operators Toolbox v1.3. And within here, if I go down in the folders, I see the XML and also the install itself. So what I'm going to want to do is pull that XML out to the top level in the plugins directory where all the other XMLs are for my other plugins. So I'll move that from here back again to Program Data, AGI, SDK 12, Plugins. And then what I'll want to do is I'll want to go ahead and open up the XML and just check what the URL is in there, because that's going to be pointing to where all my DLLs are that actually run the code for my plugin. In this case, I can see it's expecting the DLLs to be at Program Data, AGI, SDK 12, Plugins, Operators Toolbox, Install, Operators Toolbox, Bin, and Release. So I know I need to make sure that my file path is going to match that. In this case, the operator's toolbox install folder is a couple folders deep. So what I'm going to do is uh, first notice that you might have the documentation here. Save that off wherever you'd like to, to hold on to it. You can put it within um, one of the folders here, or you can save it in, in your documents separately. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my actual install folder and place it up in the plugins directory where that URL was expecting it to be. And then I can get rid of uh, my install materials the remaining operators toolbox underscore v1.3 or 1.2 if you installed from the website. From this point, you should be good to go. You should have operators toolbox installed. And as long as you had SDK closed for the entirety of that uh, process, you should just be able to open SDK and you'll have your operators toolbox installed. I'll demonstrate that here. OK, now that my SDK is open, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just verify that my Operators Toolbox install has worked. So 
One thing you can do is you can, of course, open up a scenario. Um, there are other ways to check and see what plugins you have installed. But the easiest way for me, since this is a scenario plugin, is to just open up a default scenario. So I'm going to open a default scenario in SDK and wait for that to load. OK, now that I have a fresh scenario loaded in SDK, a couple of easy ways to check and make sure that my operator's toolbox install has worked properly. The first one is to right click on your scenario object, go down to scenario plugins, and here you should see operator's toolbox. I'll go ahead and just open that up, and I see here that I have the first time used wizard. So this is exactly what I would expect to see, and this is operator's toolbox configuring itself for the first time I have it installed. So the first thing I need to do is point it to the install directory. Now I remember I had that in program data. So I'll go to my C drive, program data, AGI, SDK 12, plugins, and you're looking for operators toolbox install. So that is the folder you want to highlight as your install directory. And once you have that highlighted, you can go ahead and click OK. And now the uh, your SDK instance of operators toolbox will always know to look at that location for all of your uh, all of your code that, that constitutes the plugin. If that location ever changes, you need to rerun the wizard to re, uh, reconfigure those file paths. The second thing is to uh, configure all the databases. So one of the cool features of operators toolbox is that it allows you to bring in all kinds of uh, satellite data that you already have, facility data, area targets that you use consistently. And all of those things are stored within your own databases in your own directories. So this is where you would configure the lo location for each of those objects. If you installed uh, in that default location, all of these are going to be correct by default. And a lot of that data already comes with the install. So you would only need to add whatever data you wanted to bring to the table. In this case, all these defaults are, are good and correct. And so I'll just hit next. And finally, um, the last location is for any images that you want to use. When you create ground events, you can put custom icons on them. And so if you had images that you wanted to bring, you would put them in this directory. But again, this is the a good default directory. And I'll go ahead and click Finish. OK, so if you want to install in a secondary location where you don't have administrative privileges for your machine, as many of our customers don't, what you'll need to do is do exactly the same process that I just outlined. But instead, you'll do it in your user directory for SDK 12, which is in your documents, which you should have access to. And I'll show you that location now. So going back to the Operator's Toolbox install that I had downloaded at the start of this video, I would just copy that zip file. And then I would go into my documents which again should just be um, your, your username followed by documents, SDK 12, config, and plugins. And here I'd be able to paste the operator's toolbox install, extract all of the files as I did before. And again, we would have to go through that same process of finding the XML file, pulling it to the top level here in the plugins folder, and then removing the extra files that come with the unzipping of the install. I'll go ahead and do that now. I'm going to move the XML up to the plugins directory. I'll get rid of the zip file that we use to extract those DLLs and the install. And then I'll move the operator's toolbox install folder up into the plugins directory as well. And I'll delete the rest of the install materials because I've used them as I need them. Now, the last thing that's very important if you install in the config plugins area of your user area is that you need to edit the XML to match the URL of the new uh, location of the release directory in your operator's toolbox install. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Here in the uh, XML, if I open this up, I can see that it's still expecting my files in program data, AGI, SDK 12, plugins, operator's toolbox install, operator's toolbox bin, and release. So I know that the last part of this URL still exists, but I didn't install in program data. So I actually need to change this to match uh, the location of, uh, of my current install. So to do that, I'm going to go into my file explorer. And I'm going to go find that actual location. So operators toolbox install, operators toolbox, bin, and release. What I can do is then I can just click into the uh, search bar of my file explorer, and that will actually give me the full path to that release folder. So I can just copy that, 
go into my XML and paste my URL there. So now I can see that the operator's toolbox and on is still the same, but now we're configured to point to my user directory where uh, I, if I didn't have admin privileges, I'd be able to install operator's toolbox. From there, if I save off the XML, I can continue with the install process exactly as I did for the default program data directory. Thank you for watching, and as always, get in touch with us at support at agi.com with any questions.